<laughs> Hello, I'm Pat, and this is Henrik, and we're Scar Symmetry, and we're here today <laughs> to talk about our new album, the Singularity Phase One, Neo Humanity. Over to you, Henrik. <laughs> <laughs> Early last year, Henrik and I got together to discuss what we wanted to do with the new album. And I had the idea to make a trilogy instead of just recording another album because we've recorded five albums in the past and uh, I thought it was time to try something a bit different. Last year I was at the airport in Frankfurt Airport At the baggage claim And I overheard a conversation between two American guys And they talked about Ray Kurzweil and his book The Singularity is Near They talked a lot about all the stuff that Ray Kurzweil predicts to happen in the future And they constantly referred to the singularity And that really caught my attention So I told Henrik about it And when he was really like fired up about that concept So we decided that the trilogy was going to be called The Singularity Mm -hmm. Uh, When the title The Singularity came up, uh, I thought it was really cool because I had been working a little bit on the topic before, actually before The Unseen Empire, because that album was actually meant to deal with cyborgs and, you know, stuff like that. But for some reason we veered off into Illuminati on that album. Uh, But anyway, when Per brought up uh, the title The Singularity, I basically started working on uh, those topics again. And uh, I wrote a synopsis for, you know, the three albums in broad detail. Having the synopsis for all three albums available was really helpful for me in writing all of the music. And we decided to approach the trilogy by writing one album at a time. The synopsis that Henrik came up with is uh, it's pretty elaborate and detailed. So we have a storyline for each phase of the trilogy. Henrik also had ideas for song titles for, for all of the albums. And, uh, and some of those song titles ended up on Neo Humanity. And for me, having the synopsis as a reference when writing the music has been really inspiring. The idea is to make the trilogy as a cohesive work of art. But um, I mean, each and every part of the trilogy needs to have its own personality. And each part needs to stand on its own. The musical direction is gonna change a little bit in between the albums. So this first album came out quite progressive and and melodic, which I think really suits the lyrical concept. But as the story is gonna develop, the mood and the vibe of the of the theme is gonna change a bit, and naturally the music is gonna you know go in different places as well. Since I wrote all of the music on this album, it felt very natural for me to also take on the production responsibilities. We rented a big studio to record all of the drums, and the rest of the album is recorded in my home studio, which has been an awesome thing because that has really made it possible for me to like, spend as much time as I've needed. This is the most layered album we've ever done. Like There's just so much stuff going on in the mix. There's guitars, keyboards, hundreds of vocal tracks. And uh, I wasn't really planning on mixing the album myself when I started out. But as things progressed, it just felt natural to see the whole thing through myself. Myself! We wanted the artwork for the entire trilogy to be iconic. The cover artwork is obviously a spin on Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, but in our case it's not the Vitruvian Man, it's the Vitruvian Neo U Man. <laughs> the artwork for the entire trilogy is actually finished and it's uh, done by the same guy. I 
a lot of people think that the Scar Symmetry lyrics are inspired by science fiction movies and books, but actually it's more inspired by science and uh, scientific articles and books like that r- rather than uh, fiction novels. So even though we like a lot of science fiction movies and, and stuff like that, it doesn't directly inspire the lyrics. If I had to pick one track that that is uh, representative for the whole album, I would probably choose uh, Neo Human because it's uh, very epic and it goes into all kinds of different territories musically. So anyways, that was all for today. We'll see you next time around. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>